Okay, welcome back. We are currently embroiled in this treetops level, messing with the supercharges. And at the end of the last video, I was about to talk about homework and why I really don't think it should exist. Oh, well, so homework is fine, but mandatory homework, that should not exist. Where can I go? Oh, this is not loaded properly. Okay, don't go left is not where you go after that jump. Oh, it's something to do with this. This is it. This is it right here. If I can just figure out how this, how to get to this ramp. How get to this ramp? From where do you get to this ramp? Is it there? Maybe. Let's consider that possibility. So, oh my goodness, they start off with homework. They just drown you. What's that? Oh, I'll just die here. They drown you in homework um, in grade school. Oh my goodness. Homework is literally everything in grade school. Oh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Which to some extent I understand. Because they don't necessarily trust you to know what you don't know. I really want to go... Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Did it. Freaking did it. And he's just got 25 gems. Oh my god, we did it! Yes! Please congratulate us. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> he just, like, holds his hand up. Like, oh, sorry about that, bro. This is not it, is it? I'm missing something. You gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> hmm. Am I missing 25 gems? Hmm. Sorry. So, mandatory homework. Yeah, mandatory homework is. Oh, let me adjust my seat here for a second. Mandatory homework is so very annoying to me. Oh, we're dead. Because, so I struggle to understand what professors and schools think the purpose of homework is. Because um, it seems to me that they're using it just to have something to grade. Um, like, just to give you work, which, that's totally, how? That is definitely not how school works. That's just not a thing. You don't, you don't go to school to do work. You go to school to learn. So then, so, yeah, everything you do at school should be to to help you learn no right so i'm gonna go back up here maybe i forgot something oh no that's not where i thought it was gonna take me there's no there's gotta be a whirlwind up here right come on i've like earned the right to go up here oh my goodness Huh. 
Okay. Maybe it's over here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I always forget jumps in this level. This is the hardest level. No doubt. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll just die. So yeah, but the but for some reason, <clears throat> for some reason, people uh, professors just keep assigning homework and and having it be a grade, and I don't care. Oh, what are you doing to me, game? What are you doing to me? Come on! I don't care what portion of your grade the homework is it shouldn't be any portion of your grade because your ability to <gasps> you wait didn't I kill you I definitely killed you what about the green guy huh yeah where's your green friend oh well, maybe I should just follow this guy Yeah, there was supposed to be a dude up here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There it is. Oh my goodness. Game. Game. What did you do? That was wrong. Okay. So if I become a professor, which I may, in math, of course, um, I definitely will not assign homework. Um, so that doesn't mean I'm gonna like make the test easier or anything. The homework is for you to learn. Like, and okay. Oh boy, here's another really annoying thing. So textbooks typically only come with the solutions to the odd numbered questions, which which supports these professors ability they just assign the eat some the even number questions and then they you know they think they're you know they they what is that thing where you you wipe off your hands that they think their job is done um but but you can pay to get the the not only the the answers to the even numbered questions but also like the full solutions to the point where you can literally and a lot of my classmates seem to be doing this where you can literally copy the solutions um, down to your homework and, and get a perfect grade every time it's it's absolutely absurd because then for the people these guys are crazy for the people that haven't paid money like bear in mind that we're we're already paying for these classes to begin with so for the people that don't pay money they can get a less than perfect score on the homework and have it negatively affect their grade when really they're just using the homework to learn the material they're not 100 percent certain on it they don't look up the answers to every question they just do the best they can they might make several minor mistakes but if you have a professor who's a really harsh grader like who maybe who doesn't give partial credit they're gonna get like an uh, an F on the homework when when not only is that representative of their knowledge, because frankly, uh, all math classes should have partial credit, but it also means that you're, you're punishing them for using the homework as it should be used just to learn and, and practice. Oh man, that's instant death, that's ridiculous. 
Like, that's the reason... Ow. That's why it's useful to to get homework back, graded. Because then it's your your professor's opportunity to to give you some guidance from work that you've done and and like correct some maybe minor mistakes that you've been making not to just completely destroy you for not having a perfect knowledge of everything because that's what the test is for you don't need a, a test before a test it's ridiculous because then when do you do the actual learning surely not you can't expect a student to have learned the material perfectly in the class yeah, because the, the if if you're gonna grade somebody on something, that means that you're to some extent you're testing their knowledge, and those are the only things that should be graded are tests of knowledge because your grade in the class to outside sources will be an indication of how well you know the material. So that's why it's complete nonsense that I'm currently in a school that has a graded homework. It drives me insane. And at least the professor does do partial credit. But it, I can't stand it. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. And it really stings. It does sting. We've gotten hit like a ton from these guys. I love that getting hit sound effect that those guys have. Ugh. Oh, where? I don't know where that went. <laughs> so yeah, that's my rant on homework. If you're in a school at a college specifically that has graded homework, I feel for you. Because in grade school, I guess it's kind of okay, because if we, if we didn't, it's unfortunately true um, that, from what I can see, if we didn't force our kids to, to do the homework in some way, and the only way we've thought up how to do that is with grades, which is terribly uncreative, if we don't make homework graded, then they're just not going to do the homework, and then they're just not going to learn anything. To which I say, you know what? Doing homework, like the homework in textbooks, um, like it's very easy for a school or a professor to just assign the easy questions in a textbook. And then you don't really learn all the material anyways, because how it typically works is the homework is a large portion of your grade, and then people just do the homework, do poorly on the test, and they think, oh, I'm passing with a C, I must know my stuff. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. <laughs> He's like... You jerk, this is my home. How dare you hate on my swamp? Die, flame. Yeah, so education is. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> Where? Oh, I'm gonna spawn right here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, education can be pretty bad. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. I'm tired, that's why I'm getting sloppy. Alright. Dang it. Do we have everything in this little, little alcove thing? Yes, we're good. Okay. Not fast enough. Three of these guys. One of these guys is gonna hit me, I just know it. Ugh. Or not. 
Yeah, yeah. That electricity sound effect is really loud. Really, really loud. Oh my god, come on. Jeez. Um, come on. Come yeah, on. Boom. Boom. Oh, come on. I was right like my horns were inside of you. <laughs> there. Alright, we're good. So what do you think, uh, dang it, what do you think we should do after this, um, after this series? I could do Spyro 2, <clears throat> and if this, series go, if this series ends up going well, I probably will at some point. But I was thinking of doing Legend of Dragoon, which is... Which is an RPG. Very different from this game. Uh, eh. uh, but The Legend of Dragoon was a huge part of my childhood. Oh my goodness. I absolutely adored that game. Gosh, I'm so bad at Spyro right now. <laughs> Maybe I should just focus on this game before I start trying to do the next one. Oh my goodness, what is happening tonight? Jump, jump, run, jump. Okay. But, so one kind of bad thing about Legend of Dragoon. Oh? At least for this commentary format. Oh, I see. Is that there's a lot of text. I mean, it's a role-playing game. You would kind of expect that. that there's going to be a lot of other people talking, not just me talking. Uh, so that means I would have to get comfortable with doing some some horrible voice acting, <laughs> which which I uh, I want to embrace the experience. Uh, I'm still tossing it around in my mind whether whether that's really what I want to do. Oh, I think we gotta fly. We gotta. F do we? Do we gotta fly over here from? There's two of these things. What? Am I, am I gonna get to? Hey, hey, hey! Heal me. Yeah. So I've been thinking about that. Uh, but that's all. That's about all the time we got for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.